What's cooking, guys? It's Dean from Full Circle here. I'm uh, just wanted to record a quick one for you, talking about you know where we're where we're at currently. So um, we have our new office uh, team member Ellen started. She's crushing it in the office um, over the past couple days. She started actually just past two days. She started yesterday, but uh, she's been doing really great ever since then, and I'm really excited that uh, for that to keep going. Um, so that's awesome. And then. As far as the field goes, we were missing a bunch of people. Monday we had four out of our current eight full-time people. Uh, three were sick, one was um, on vacation. Today we have six out of eight full-time. Uh, so, and then um, tomorrow we should have, I don't know, we'll at least have our two part-time guys tomorrow coming in. Um, so then we'll have, you know, maybe we'll be back to eight. And then next week we have two more full-time people starting. So then we'll have 10 full-time and two part-time. And then probably, you know, a week, two, three weeks after that, we'll have another one or two uh, full-time people starting so that we have, you know, 12 full-time and then two part-time. And the part-timers are going to be the ones that just fill in when somebody doesn't show up or not, not doesn't show up, like somebody's sick or whatever, so that we're not, we don't get as behind as quickly. Um, and then other than that, um, I've been kind of at a spot. I was kind of at a spot last night where I'm like, what should I be doing right now? Like, what's the, is it like, okay, yes, like there's, there's 10,000 things I could do. But it's like, what's my number one activity to make the company money? Like, it, it was hiring when we needed a lot more people. Now we kind of have the people, so it's not that. We have the office team member now, so it's not that. Um, she's doing great on training. I've made a bunch of training material. There's not a lot I can do other than just walk through with her, so there's nothing I can do for that. Um, so I think I landed on my job. My newest you know, jobs are basically you know, training everybody in the whole company. So we're really going to work on some training programs for everybody. Marketing. Actually, I'm going to start doing a lot of, uh, later today, actually, I'm stopping out, you know, visiting some teams and doing that stuff and then just selling. So doing estimates. Um, I think those are going to be my biggest jobs over the next uh, couple of weeks here. Uh, as we go into August, we have to replace some of our, uh, and then just that, that. And then the other thing is increasing the efficiency of the business because we're really not where we need to be for that. Like our, as far as our margins going and our, like our gross, our uh, gross profit is less than 50% which is not good. I don't like being there. Um, and that's, you know, because that's with, you know, I don't know if you guys know, I'll, I'll talk about numbers later, but basically gross profit uh, has our, you know, taken out of, they're taken out of our revenue is like the labor, contractors, materials, uh, equipment rentals, and fuel. And with those five taken out, it's, we're under 50, we're, we're like, it's, you know, it's over 50% is our cost of, you know, taking care of clients, which I don't like, like it really needs to be under 50 um, for sure. I mean, in a good business, if you listen to like Hormozzi, he's like, that should be under 20%. I'm like, shit, we're, we're not getting anywhere near there, but just the type of business we run. But, um, or I shouldn't say it like that, but like, I just don't see how you can do that. Like without whatever. But, um, so I think we can really increase the efficiency, uh, as we get, as the team starts start to do better on P4P, our labor costs will go down uh, a little bit, which would be great. And then as we get better at, uh, you know, routing and then just having fully trained team members and, you know, not wasting as much time. I think we'll do a really good job of um, getting that down. And then I don't think we can save on um, costs of labor necessary. Like, I don't think we save on costs of um, contractors, but I think we can definitely save some on material and definitely mark up our material a little more and make sure we're charging that on every client. I know some clients got missed and that just seems really high to me right now. So we're, we're looking over that. Um, but um, yeah, then after that, I think August is going to come and then we're going to be hiring again because we're going to lose one guy is going on a massive vacation there. And then we're, two guys or two of our team members are leaving for going to go back to college. So we're going to have to hire like two or three more people on kind of end of this month or end of um, July, beginning of August. And then we'll be headed into September, October, November. And then, you know, in September, we'll have the talks with the team who's staying on the winter, who's not. And then December comes, and uh, we're still pretty busy. January comes, we're less busy, but still full-time doing cleanups. February comes, and hopefully snow comes in February, or we're just kind of twiddling our thumbs doing bi-weekly, um, you know, property stuff and doing, um, like, projects. And then, you know, March comes, and we're busy again. So uh, that's kind of where we're at now. Uh, questions, comments, let me know. Um, I'm going to record a video at some point on thoughts on the recession. I just don't have enough thoughts right now or on a recession that probably coming soon. That might may or may not affect us. Um, I'll be doing that later, you know, maybe when I feel like it. So thank you for watching and see you later. Peace.